one of Johnny Depp's worst films of his career was the film he made with his children, Jack and Lily Rose. Over his long career, Johnny Depp has starred in numerous hit movies and played iconic roles. Some of his best-known films, such as Edward Scissorhands, Sleepy Hollow, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street, are the result of his partnership with Tim Burton. He has come to be identified with the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise's Captain Jack Sparrow. With her acting career, his daughter Lily Rose Depp is also developing into a promising young actress in her own right. But one movie in which they both starred ended up being a complete box office and critical bust. The Yoga Hosers starring Johnny Depp and Lily Rose Depp was a complete failure. In the 2016 film Yoga Hosers, Johnny Depp co-starred with his daughter Lily Rose Depp. Kevin Smith, whose daughter Harley Quinn Smith played the co-lead in the movie, also directed it. The movie, which was a follow-up to Smith's 2014 feature Tusk, featured the two girls fighting Bratsies, or Nazi clones made of Bratwurst, in order to clear their names of a murder they did not commit. Guy LaPointe, portrayed by Depp, is a renowned manhunter who assists the girls in establishing their innocence. At first, the movie appeared to have promise because director Smith had made many noteworthy movies, including Clerks, Chasing Amy, Dogma, and others. One intriguing aspect of the movie was that Smith and Depp were both working with their daughters. Depp's son Jack Depp was also in the movie. But when the movie came out, both reviewers and audiences thought it was terrible. For both Smith and Depp, the movie was a low point in their careers and one of the lowest-groomed movies. Despite having a $5 million budget, the movie only made $38,767 making it the lowest-grossing picture in each of their careers. Tim Burton talks about his special bond with Johnny Depp. Working together for more than eight times, Tim Burton and Johnny Depp have created some of the most critically acclaimed movies of their individual careers. Highlights of their successful joint ventures include movies like Ed Wood, Sleepy Hollow, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Edward Scissorhands, Corpse Bride, Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street, and Alice in Wonderland. Burton discussed his unique relationship with Depp, which began when they first worked together on the Edward Scissorhands film set. Burton expressed his admiration for Depp's willingness to embrace the craft of acting and play a variety of roles without worrying about making money off of it. He is amazed by his willingness to change for each role he takes on and his daring approach to movies. He declared, I got to know him back when I was doing Edward Scissorhands. Burton remarked, We connected on some kind of level. He was a bit similar to me, kind of suburban, white trash, whatever, we met for his hit film Edward Scissorhands. It wasn't even a verbal agreement, it was just someone I could relate to for role-playing who was more interested in acting for its own sake than for financial gain.